the book house chases next this is two and a quarter miles over the larger obstacles and a big field for this and it's a grade three and the top one is the king for joshua sutherland admiral Ascoli, martin leadham adrenaline leon van rinsburg alphon hideaway craig allen ancient grass craig beckwith cape frank darren thompson caulfield alex cherry celtic cliche or celtic cliche for john morgan Loch Ness monster jim murray the smiler joshua sutherland alien invasion leon van rinsburg cash's queen david hooley happy diva John Morgan, Houston Battle and Ozark Clear for Vinnie Gerard, Seductress for Paul Rhodes and to the stars, David Hooley, away they go and in the rain, 17 of them in this, and Seductress is the first one to show from Celtic Cliche in second, a whole bunch of greys in this one, three at the back and one currently in the lead as they make their way towards the first of just 11 fences that they've got to take in this one seductress in the green jacket then has gone on by length to the first of the greys celtic cliche in second the smiler is third as they get over the first which they're all safe a really good jump there by admiral escoli seeing that one jump right through into fourth with houston battle the grey at the back at the moment and the grey closest to us is cape frank so they're past the big screen then that's the winning post and now they'll swing it for a complete circuit of the track and Seductress has gone four clear. So Celtic Cliche has gone into second. Then comes the Smiler and Ancient Grass and then Cash's Queen and Loch Ness Monster as they take the next turn. There's a four at the back there, Two the Stars has gone. So Two of the Stars departs the race at this early stage and making their way towards the third. Seductress is clear in front from the Smiler second. And Celtic Cliche as they get over number three. Uh, no mistake at the back there by Houston Battle. Yes. Seeing that one just drop six lengths off the pace completely. And Admiral Ascoli, who jumped really well a second ago, right up into third, is now last off the main group as they get over number four. And over that one they all go then with Seductress in the lead. Celtic Cliche is second, this minor is third, then Cape Frank is fourth. Bit of a gap then to Cash is Queen and Ancient Grass and then the King. Oh, and the lead is gone. Seductress crashes into that one and he's out of it. So it's le that's left Celtic Cliche in the lead. So Grey's one and two. And it's Celtic Cliche for John Morgan in the lead. Cape Frank is in second. Then come the Joshua Sutherland pair, the Smiler and the King. Loch Ness monsters after that one. And then Ancient Grass and Happy Diva. And then Caulfield's next. And then Ozark Clear and Old Fine Hideaway's trying to get into it as well. The Leon Van Rensburg pair together as well as they get over number six with Celtic Cliché clear by about two and a half lengths to Cape Frank in second Loch Ness Monsters moved up on the outside in third then the Smiler and Cash is Queen and the King and Ancient Glass Alien Invasion is getting closer as well as they get over number seven and they're all safe now with that one although Alex Cherry Sauce didn't jump it well it's all cool field that one's now shuffled towards the back but Celtic Cliché leads over the eighth over that one they all go. Celtic Cliche by about a neck to Loch Ness Monster in second. Gap of three then to Cash's Queen and the Smiler and Cape Frank Alien Invasion. Now really coming through with a good looking move. Then behind that one comes Adrenaline Happy Divas run a quiet race in mid division. So too's Alphine Hideaway. Ancient Grasses after that one in Coalfield Ozark Clear and Admiral Ascoli as they come down towards the third from home in there. Celtic Cliche lands in the lead. Really good jump. Got away from it well and leads by about a length and a half but look at this alien invasion move through in a second and now the smiler swoops around the outside it's all change up top then with two to jump and the smiler over that ditch in the lead from alien invasion in second these two are clear of happy diva and the king Loch Ness monster still there ozark clears trying to get going around the outside but they've got to get to the smiler now just one to take two and a half furlongs still to race though and it's the smiler Two lengths clear of Alien Invasion in second. Then comes Loch Ness Monster in third. They're racing down towards his final fence now then. With the Smiler only a length clear of Alien Invasion. who's really trying to close. Also finishing well. Cash is queen over that one. A brilliant jump by Alien Invasion. Has seen it go into the lead and go two clear. It's Alien Invasion. But now the Smiler is trying to fight back. So too is the King. Then Cash is queen. It's Alien Invasion trying to hold on. But here comes the King on the outside. Alien Invasion and the King. And Alien Invasion needs a lot. And he's going to get it. I think an Alien Invasion is going to take it from the King Celtic Cliche ran on again to be third and way back to Caulfield and it was a win for Alien Invasion and took it between the last two fences really 
The King tried to fight back. Celtic cliche ran on really well as well. But Alien Invasion takes it for Leon van Rensburg. The King was second for Joshua Sullivan. Celtic cliche John Morgan third. The fourth place horse has just disappeared for a second. It was a smiler for Joshua Sullivan again. And David Hooley's cash is queen.